just as long. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everything ain't, ain't, everything ain't perfect, but it's better. Yes, Come on, somebody say better. better. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say better. better. See, that when, when you get it that you're better, when I go to the weight room, I don't go to the weight room and go from weak to strong. Amen. Amen. I go yeah, from yeah. weak to stronger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. I, I started off wherever I started off, that was my baseline, but I'm strong earth. Amen. Amen. I'm wise earth. Amen. Amen. I'm better. Amen. 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 And so I, when I get that earth in my life, yes, Amen. Yes, I'm more yes, saved yes, earth. Yes, Amen. 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 I'm holy yes. earth. Yes. Sanctified yes. earth. Yes. Amen. Because yes. I'm saying that because that earth should encourage you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Where the enemy tries to discourage you, that earth should give you hope. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because 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 in your yes. when you yes. now yes. analyze yourself, you will look at yes. yourself and say, "Look at what's wrong with oh, me." And there's some things that's wrong with most of us. Bless you, God. Amen. You know, CC, she's perfect, but everybody else. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so there's some stuff that's wrong with us. But yes. you look and you say, man, but look at where I was. Yes, yes, Amen. yes. Look at where I, yes. I never would have imagined, yes. based on where I started, that I'd be where I am. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I never, I never would have imagined, based on where I started, that I'd be where I am. Amen. And God did the miracle of getting me where I am. Amen. Yes, God did the yes, miracle did. Yes, of getting did. me where Hallelujah. I am. There was a time where, you know, some of y'all, you know, got attitude problems and you snap out on people mm -hmm. and choke people out and slam them and throw them out the window mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And just today, you just didn't do that. Right. Amen. 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 That's better. Amen. 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 You can't minimize your better. Yes, Lord. Because if you yes. minimize your better, you miss it. Yeah, yeah, hallelujah. You miss it. You 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 think that you're not you think you're not making ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and the error that we make is that we analyze ourselves based on where we are and and the and the flaws in where we are. Now let me make sure because I'm I'm talking in church, I want to make sure I'm being a good prophet. Okay. Amen. So I want to talk to the people that's in the room, not my own uh, idea. Amen. 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 Is there anybody here with flaws? Amen. Okay. Y'all sure? Yeah. Amen. Everybody got flaws. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. I can preach on this then. Amen. <laughs> you're, if, if you have flaws, mm -hmm. amen, you're depending on God to make you better. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you have flaws, you're depending on God to make you better. What we generally want God to do is to fix us. Okay. And we ask God. Well, y'all don't ask. Y'all kind of mean. Y'all just come to God and, and demand. Take it away, Lord. Take it all away. Take everything. Change it. Fix it. Take it out. When you want it, now. <laughs> Do it now, Lord. And then and when you put all those demands on God, you know what he says? That's right. That's what he says. That's what he says. Because, because, because nowhere in there did he put that kind of pressure on you, and nowhere in there did he put that pressure on himself. That pressure is not on you, and that pressure is not on him, that you would not be flawed. Amen. Okay. I know. I came. This is mess with your religion Sunday. Mm -hmm. This is mess with your religion Sunday. So I came fortified with my own amen. <laughs> okay. Amen. Amen. Nowhere in there did he put the pressure on you, nor did he put the pressure on himself. All right, Canon. That don't make sense because God is perfect. And he said, be perfect. And he said, be holy, just like me. And then he and he put on flesh and came down through 42 generations. Amen. And found himself in the womb of a virgin named Mary. Amen. He was born and laid in a manger in flesh. When he was born in flesh. He was born with a, a word I want you to take home with you today. 
Amen. This, this, if you're taking notes, take this word home with you today. When Jesus was born in flesh, mm -hmm. he was born in capacity. Capacity. C-A-P-A-C-I-T-Y. Mm -hmm. He had capacity. Mm -hmm. He had the ability mm -hmm. to sin. Yes, he, did. Yeah. Yeah. he was not born into sin. Right. Mm -hmm. But he was born into the ability mm -hmm. to sin. Amen. Because he was born in the ability to sin, the enemy tried to attack him and make him there you go. The, 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 the challenge was, if I can make a sinner out of God, then he will no longer be God. Y'all are on top of this today. If, if I can make a sinner out of God, he'll no longer be God. And, and then he could accuse God. Of being just like him. Mm -hmm. He could accuse God mm -hmm. of, of making a mistake. And so how are you going to kick me out of heaven mm -hmm. for making a mistake when you made a mistake? Mm -hmm. see, the game, see the game? Mm -hmm. So the game is to make God see him. Okay. He started the game in, in Genesis. And, and, and what God did was God created man in his image mm -hmm. and in his likeness. Mm -hmm. And he made them godly. Mm -hmm. And he gave them dominion mm -hmm. over all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And he gave them authority yeah. over all the stuff. Mm -hmm. So it looks like God. Right. Mm -hmm. So guess what the enemy did? slid up on them mm -hmm. and said, let me make you sin. Mm -hmm. When he made her sin and made him sin, he said, aha! Mm -hmm. I got you, God! <laughs> what do you do when people sin? The whole, the whole thing of the enemy mm -hmm. was to get God stuff mm -hmm. to sin. Mm -hmm. Here you are in God's image. Mm -hmm. And I made him sin. Aha! Mm -hmm. I got him. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then when he made them sin, he made them ashamed, and so they hid in the bushes. Right. Aha! When you hiding in the bushes, you can't run nothing. Amen. That's right. That's true. That's true. When you hide in the bushes, you're not walking in the authority of who you've been called and created to be. Right. Amen. So the enemy don't have to defeat you. Mm -hmm. All he has to do is trip you up so that you hide and abandon your calling. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll get you to walk. In a place, number two word for the day. You got capacity was the first word, right? Mm -hmm. Number two word for the day is condemnation. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll get you to move into a place called condemnation. Okay. You know what you did. Mm -hmm. You remember what you did. And you remember what you did will cause you to abandon your post. It's the same thing, Keith, that makes us say, I'm not good enough. Amen. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you for that. I'm not, I'm not good enough because I know what I did. Mm -hmm. Or I know how I did it. Mm -hmm. Or I know my flaws. Mm -hmm. I know my weaknesses. God needs somebody that's not flawed like me. Mm -hmm. God needs someone better than me. Okay. 
And therefore, I'm going to sit over here in the bushes out the way so I don't mess up nobody. All he had to do was get you to identify with one weakness, one flaw in you to make you abandon the mission. That's been the, that's been the plan since Eden. That's been the plan since he got kicked out. Fast forward. Here comes Jesus that was laying in the manger. And then he grew up. And then he, he came down the hill and, and, and John the Baptist saw him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Come to take away the sins of the world. Amen. And then, and then John said, I don't even need to be baptizing you. You need to be baptizing me. And then, and then Jesus say, suffer it to be so. Right? Y'all know the story? Yeah. Amen. And when, he, and when he said that and he brought Jesus down and then he baptized Jesus. And when he baptized Jesus, he came up out of the water and God spoke. Mm -hmm. And said, this is my son. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. In whom I am well pleased. Mm -hmm. And the enemy said, aha. I got one. Mm -hmm. got another. And then the spirit yeah, that's true. of God yeah. Yeah. led Jesus <laughs> into the wilderness <laughs> to be tempted right. of the devil mm -hmm. that was out to get him. Jesus said, Jesus said, Juanita, when, when Jesus was getting down the road, he had a disciple <laughs> just after that. When he got his disciples and everything, and the disciples would see Jesus go through. Mm -hmm. And then the disciples said, teach us how to pray. Mm -hmm. and, when, and when Jesus taught the disciples how to pray, he said, when you pray, pray like this. Mm -hmm. Lead us not into temptation. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. I will want to tear something up. Man. Jesus said, when you pray to God, right. ask God to not lead you into temptation. Because one day I was led by God into temptation. You don't want God to lead you into the wilderness mm -hmm. where you're going to experience that kind of temptation. Just ask him, lead us not. Right. Right. <laughs> and deliver us uh -huh. from right. evil. <laughs> yeah. Amen. That, well, what we want God to do? Lead us not mm -hmm. right. into temptation. Right. Mm -hmm. But deliver us right. from evil. Yeah. So, so when Jesus was telling the disciples how to pray, he was telling the disciples how he prayed. Right. If he's telling the disciples how he prays, mm -hmm. he's telling the disciples what his struggle is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I recognize okay. that part of this walk is that I'm going to be led into things that I'm probably struggling with, mm -hmm. and I'm asking God not to take me there, Amen. Thank but you. deliver me. From there. Right. Get me out of this. <laughs> and see, we are now 2022, we are super Christians. Right. And because we're super Christians, we're not affected by things like that that Jesus was affected by. Yeah. Like temptation. We don't struggle with stuff. We don't have because I'm saved that I know I am. Amen. And, and I'm holy, holy, holy. And, and because of all of those things, I'm not, I don't struggle with those things. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus did. You see what I'm saying? I'm better than Jesus. I'm better than Adam and Eve. I, I don't have those kinds of struggles. That's for you lower Christians. And, 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 and that mentality sets you up. 
for the enemy to come and meet you in a wilderness mm -hmm. and put a pause in you. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. When he put a pause, he put a pause in Jesus. See, you, you got to look at Christianity the way Christianity was designed. Mm -hmm. And being Christian did, did not mean that I am perfect. Because if I am perfect, boy, this is mess with your religion Sunday. <laughs> Amen. If I am perfect, mm -hmm. there is absolutely positively no need for grace. Amen. Amen. That's good. That's right. Amen. That's good. Amen. If the expectation was my perfection, there would be no need for grace. Mm -hmm. However, perfect Jesus found himself in the garden of, in, in the uh, in the wilderness, mm -hmm. and when he found himself in the wilderness, the enemy threw something at him that put a pause in him. Right. He said, "All you got to do mm -hmm. is bow down and worship me, mm -hmm. and if you bow down and worship me, I'll make you king of kings." And I'll make you Lord of Lords without the cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, when Jesus came to earth, he came to earth because y'all told me that the plan of salvation was before the foundation of earth. Yes, so if the plan of salvation was before the foundation of earth, that he would come and give his life and die on the cross. He came to earth with the understanding that the plan was for him to die on the cross. Right. Yeah. Amen. And so he came to earth with the plan to die on the cross, but he didn't want the cross. The scripture never said Jesus loved the cross. Amen. He said you love the cross. He didn't say Jesus loved the cross. He said Jesus endured the cross and despised the shame. It was not what he wanted. Amen. But, but if this was the plan before the foundation of the earth, and then he was born into capacity. He was born into choice. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. That's it. He was born into, I could mess this up. Mm -hmm. And then with the capacity that he had to mess it up, the enemy came and presented the opportunity for him to mess it up. Mm -hmm. By saying, just bow down and worship me, and we can skip this part that you don't like. Right. Mm -hmm. And you'll still be Lord. In heaven, Jesus would never pause. But man, Jesus has a different experience. Man, Jesus has to deal with capacity. You know what else Jesus has to capacity? We said he has the capacity to sin, right? You also have another capacity. You have the capacity to die. You have the capacity to hurt. Yeah. And you don't want to. Right. People that want to hurt, we say that they have some mental illness. Mm -hmm. People that get excited about being hurt is something wrong with them, right? Mm -hmm. So here's Jesus that doesn't want to hurt and doesn't want to die, and the enemy say, I got a way out for you. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Bow down and worship me. Mm -hmm. And we'll settle this, we'll call it even. You can be Lord. Why, why doesn't that work? Jesus could be Lord, but you couldn't be saved. Right. 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 Jesus would still be Lord. Yeah. The temptation wasn't to set him up, it was to set you up. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, so Jesus would have went on being Lord and ruler and king of kings uh. and all of that, and you would go to heaven. So the deal was for Jesus to forsake you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. and save himself. My God. Thank you, Lord. I can avoid all the suffering. I can avoid all the pain. Mm -hmm. I can avoid all of it. Only thing I have to do is give you up. Right. My God. And y'all don't even like him. No. Wow. Y'all don't even accept him. And, and so and so and so here's Jesus facing a great temptation. Amen. And it put a pause in him, keys to the point that when he put that pause in him, Jesus said, I can't even answer you now. He said, just get behind me. 
in, in black and ease, that means the same thing as leave me alone. And, and I know that that's what it means because the scriptures say after that, that, that Satan left them alone. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it say. <laughs> so that, that means black knees mean leave me alone. Right. And Satan left him alone for a season. Right. Right. Only for a season. Right. Only for a season. Mm -hmm. And that season was up quick mm -hmm. because he found him in the Garden of Gethsemane. Right. On the night. Now, 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 this is really good because because the thing is, the, the devil doesn't want you to be saved. No, he right. Amen. The devil doesn't want you to have victory. No. What he wants you to do is quit. Yes. Yes. And so the, the root of his plan of your suffering and tripping you up and tangling you up is not to, to, to make you fall, it's to make you quit. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You see what I mean? And, and so when he came to the Garden of Gethsemane, the whole concept of the cross, the whole concept of the cross is the plan of God for our salvation, but it's the plan of the enemy to make him quit. Okay. The whole concept of the cross <laughs> is the plan of God for our salvation, but it's the plan of the enemy to make him quit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. This side a little worse. All right. All right. Amen. And, 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 and so when, when, when they decided, God could have saved you. I, 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 this is mess up your religion Sunday. Okay. All right. Don't beat me up, Apostle. God could have saved you without a cross. Amen. It, it, it's his plan. It didn't have to be a cross right. that he used to, to kill Jesus in order for salvation to happen. Right. He could have been lethal injection. Right. It could have been beheading. Mm -hmm. It could have been a lot of things. It wouldn't have fit within the prophecy, but the prophecy was God's prophecy. Right. Right. The plan was God's plan. Mm -hmm. Why the cross? Because the cross was a Roman method of torture and death. It was a symbol of suffering. It was the most horrible death you could imagine. So what we want the cross to be is a deterrent. They use the cross to make people say, I never want to do whatever he did. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I don't ever want to go through that. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before Jesus got to the cross, they took the liberty of whipping him. Mm -hmm. yeah. All night. All right. night. Mm -hmm. Why? Whip him. All night. Because mm -hmm. that's so I never want to be whatever he is that caused me to go through that. Right. It's a deterrent. Right. But it's intended to deter Jesus. Yeah. Amen. The whole trick is to get you to abandon the mission. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Jesus in his all-knowingness mm -hmm. <laughs> is in the Garden of, Eat, of uh, Gethsemane mm -hmm. seeing what's coming and saying, please, Father, please, let this cup pass from me. And you all are real smart people, so I can talk to you like this. I'll ask you a question. Since it was the plan of the Father before the foundation of the world mm -hmm. that this is going to be the way that, that salvation was going to come to man. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that, right? Mm -hmm. and, and since Jesus and the Father are one because he said so. Uh -huh. And since so he knew the plan of salvation and all of that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Where did this whole bitter cup thing come in? The devil's side. 
Because the devil introduces the concept of an alternative plan. Yes. He plants the seed. He makes you start thinking maybe there's another way. I remember after baptism, the enemy said there's another way. And so now Jesus is speaking from one seed. At the moment of truth, he's speaking to that seed. Lord, is there another way? Mm -hmm. By now, you should begin to see yourself in Jesus' life. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> that, that there's things that God has called you into and things that you've had to experience and what you're really trying to find is an alternative route. Mm -hmm. You're trying to find a way to get mm -hmm. out of it and not deal with what you have to deal with. But some of those things you just have to deal with. And the only reason why oh, you're talking God. about it is because the enemy has presented the option of not. He's, he's planted the seed of doubt in your mind that makes you think that this is a possibility that you don't have to go through this. You can actually eat the fruit and live. Wow. And he suffers you into thinking that you're missing out on something or God is cheating you on something or he's not giving you a way out when he could give you a way out. Yes. How do you know this, Canada? Because I read the whole story. When, when Jesus was there, Marquise, he was trying to get some help. You said, uh, go get two is better than one, and threefold cord is not easily broken. Mm -hmm. So he took his disciples out there and yeah. said, pray with me. Yeah. What, what did he say when he said, pray with me? You Bible scholars, what did he say? Pray with me. Yeah. What? What did he say? Hello. <laughs> Can you come? What, what did he say? <laughs> he said, pray with me. Lest we fall into what? The same thing we've been dealing with since the baptism. Pray, pray that we don't fall into temptation. But this is God. Born into capacity. Said, oh my God. I could mess this up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Y'all pray. Mm -hmm. What we praying for? Pray I don't mess this up. Because mm -hmm. I got the ability to mess this up. Mm -hmm. That's good. My godness can't lie. Mm -hmm. But this capacity right. that I've been born into right. could mess this up. Choice, yeah. Choice could mess this up. Mm -hmm. Free will yeah. could mess this up. Yeah. Yeah. I could make the wrong decision, That's good. That's good. which is what I've been dealing with, which is what God has been training me on since yeah. baptism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's been training me on overcoming temptation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I told y'all pray yeah. mm -hmm. that he leads us not into temptation, yeah. but deliver us from evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. <clears throat> here we are. Here we are. And I'm here. He said, okay, y'all pray so we don't do that. He's praying, Lord, let the bitter cup pass from me. Mm -hmm. So now what he's asking God to do, Apostle, I can talk to this side of the room, and now what he's asking God to do is to abandon his sovereignty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. God is yeah. that that he is. Mm -hmm. His will be done yeah. in earth yeah. as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, change your will. Mm -hmm. Wow. That, that's what Jesus did. Don't judge Jesus. Y'all need it too. Y'all need it too. Jesus said, change your will. Don't even let this be your will. Right. Please. <laughs> Interpretation of tongue. Let this bitter cup pass. He said, change. Don't let this be your will. I know this is your will. That's why I'm asking you about the cup. I know this is your will, but I'm telling you, God, in your eternal sovereignty, don't have that will. Change your will. See how much y'all are like Jesus? When you're going through something and you don't want it to be the way that it has to be and you don't want to suffer what you have to suffer and you say, Lord, change this. So it don't have to be like that. Amen. And I'm going to tell you 
what happens when you tell God to change this. <laughs> He don't say nothing. <laughs> Every time you go to God with them demands and say, Lord, I don't want to go through this. This is too hard. It is too much for me to bear. Take it away. And he don't say nothing and he don't take nothing. And you sit there and you go through it. Yeah. Yep. And, it and it ain't unrighteous and it ain't unfair that you sit there and you go through it because when Jesus came to God and said, take it away and I don't want to go through it, God didn't say nothing. And he, and he let Jesus sit there and take it and go through it. <laughs> Amen. Deal with it. Till he's having a nervous breakdown. Till he's sweating blood. Because you don't want to do it so bad that your system is confused. Until, and then um, this is a good lesson about prayer, because some of y'all think prayer is manipulation. And this is a good lesson about prayer, because when you pray, you don't change God. Say that again. When you pray, you don't change God. You can't change God's sovereignty. I'm telling you, if Jesus couldn't change God's mind, you ain't. Amen. Jesus out there sweating and bleeding and carrying on, and God didn't say, okay, okay, okay. And you think just because you don't want to suffer the one little three things you got to deal with, <laughs> that God going to say, okay, I just I just changed the whole plan of earth. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to have a toothache. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. wow. He don't change. He, I, I am the Lord thy God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I change not. not. Mm -hmm. He said it already. Mm -hmm. How crazy is it that Jesus is asking him? To change. When he already told him, I don't change. You know who I am? That. That I am. So I am. Talk about some change. I'm change. I am. Before the foundation of the world, I am. You're going to tell me. Now the world is going to tell me what. Huh? That's like your children telling you to change. I brought you here. Right. Now you're gonna now you gonna change me. Huh? I'm his. That's in the that's in the new version. Right. That I am, I, I'm his. You can't so Jesus asked God to change his sovereignty. Alright? That's temptation. What what Jesus was saying is. Interpret, I gotta interpret terms for y'all on a lot of this because it's not in the text. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm isolating the text. Okay. So here's here's what Jesus was saying. God, if you don't do something, I'ma mess up. <laughs> That's what he was saying. God, if you if you don't do something, I'ma mess up. So you need to change your will. I love it. Amen. I'm so glad I stopped by and picked up my amen before I got here. Yeah. I'm telling you, because this is messing up your religion Sunday. Amen. God, if you don't do something quick, yeah. let me go see if the disciples is praying. They ain't even praying. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, yeah. you better do something. You know how y'all say, you better get your boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> y'all better come get him. Yeah. <laughs> Because if y'all don't come get them, it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jesus is trying to tell them. He's trying to tell God. Yeah. You better do something. Because right. this ain't going to work. When you send me up to Pilate, uh -huh. I'm telling you, Jesus had to get it resolved in his own heart. Yeah. Watch this. Unassisted. He had to get it in his own heart, unassisted, mm -hmm. that he would go through. When he got in his own heart, unassisted, yeah. then he turned to the disciples that he was fussing at mm -hmm. and said, go on to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. I don't need you. Right. 
I don't, need, I don't need you once I get it all yeah, resolved in my own heart. Right. See, uh, when, it, when it wasn't in my heart, now I'm looking for somebody to blame. Right, the reason why I need y'all, because y'all ain't true. praying. That's why I'm messed up. The reason why I'm going through is because y'all didn't teach me right. Mm. The reason why I'm dealing with this is because y'all didn't help me. Mm -hmm. See, I'm looking for somebody to blame because really for, I'm looking for a way out. Right, right, that part. So blame is actually a form of temptation. I'm looking for I'm looking for an excuse for not being what I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Amen. So because you wasn't there for me, because daddy wasn't there, because mama didn't care, because everything, I'm finding all of the reasons why I'm not what I'm supposed to be. But God gave me everything that I needed to be everything that I needed to be in spite of everything that went wrong. It didn't matter that foxes didn't have holes. It didn't matter that birds didn't have nests. But the son of man was going to be taken care of. Yeah. If he had to send the sparrow, the sparrow was eating, Jesus was going to eat. Yeah. 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 He was going to take care of whatever had to be taken care of, but Jesus is trying to find the back door. Yeah. Amen. He sent his friend. <laughs> Watch Jesus. You got to see this. Oh, I love the man Jesus. He encourages me. Because we was at the West office. And when we was at the West office, Jesus told on the snitch. Amen. He told, he said, whoever you see, deal with me. That's the snitch. That's the one that's going to betray me. Yeah. Amen. Now, I don't know about y'all friends. But the guys I ride with, mm -hmm. they watching that cup. <laughs> they the cup. Everybody's going to be thirsty. Because <laughs> nobody better not dip in that cup. In Jesus' name. <laughs> The guys I'm with, they, they ain't even eating no more. They just watching the cup. Watching that cup. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. Just checking this cup out. See, you want something? You looking for thirsty. You want something? You understand what I'm saying? The rest of the night, it's all about it's all about tipping roll. Jesus told them, guess what? Guess why? Why? He had Gethsemane issues even oh. at the Last Supper. Okay. Amen. If if I can mess Judas up, maybe he won't be. If I can throw Judas off of his purpose, uh -huh. then I can keep myself. Are y'all paying attention? It's the same thing you've been dealing with since the baptism. Uh -huh. He know what's coming tonight. Yes. Right. So let me tell on Judas so Judas have a chance because maybe the brother <laughs> will get him right. Right. Amen. Right. Yes. Right. <laughs> be like, be like, no, man, you don't want to dip in that bowl, man. You don't want to dip. And eat that bread dry. <laughs> you don't want to, you want to dip in that, man. Something happened to you. What to you get in that bowl, man? Come on. You with us. You with us. Y'all know how to brush. You with us. Something gonna happen to you. So so he, he didn't he didn't put he didn't put uh, Judas on blast. That didn't work. Watch, watch Jesus respond. See, I, I read the whole thing. I'm telling you, I read the Bible. See, I'm reading the Bible because the Bible is telling me the part that you miss it. It's stuff that he's saying, y'all just read over. But he's telling you the part that he missing. The part that you missing when he said, uh, the, the one that's going to dip with me and all that stuff, and then he dipped. Then Jesus talked to Judas. He said, man, look, what you got to do, hurry up. <laughs> I know, I know what you got to do. Yes! Yes! I know what you got to do. Just go and hurry up. Go and hurry up. Get on it, man. Don't stay around here long for the bros get on you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because I already know. All of this is you trying to deal with temptation. Amen. 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 You trying to deal with You trying to deal with temptation. You trying to deal with temptation is relevant. Lead us not into temptation. This is what he's dealing with. He was led by the Spirit. Here you 
are sitting next to the man that you know is going to betray you, oh, and you don't slap him. Right. You don't slap him because you're saved. So you tell your boys to slap him. Right. You pastor, so you can't do it, but you know Peter on the other side with a sword. The one that dipped in the bowl and Peter. Yeah. Ain't nobody there. Anybody want some bread? He's still struggling with the same thing. So, so then the enemy gets the end of the game. We get in Gethsemane. Gethsemane was not part of God's plan. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. okay. I said Gethsemane was not part of God's plan. No, okay. He didn't say, and you shall go to the garden and pray until you sweat great drops of blood. Oh, right. Right. That was not one of the promises. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. That was the struggle. Yeah. So when you talk about Gethsemane, it's not part of God's plan. That's part of Jesus' struggle. Right. Yeah. So when you identify with Jesus' Gethsemane, you're not identifying with his, with his righteousness. Right. You're dealing with his struggle. Right. And so in Gethsemane, this is where, where Jesus had to pause. Yeah. This is the keeping place. Mm -hmm. This is the place where God kept Jesus from falling. Yeah. Yeah. See, 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 it didn't take that long for Judas to get to the folks and bring the folks out there. It, it, Judas could have been back with the folks and betrayed them before they finished dinner. But, but what, what God did is he held Jesus in the garden. He kept Jesus in the garden. He didn't say nothing, but he kept him. He, he kept him in the garden while he worked through the temptation. And there's some things that God is keeping you in. And it's not that you have overcome it yet, but while you're struggling, while you sweat, while you bleed, while you bend, while you're trying to change my mind, I'm just going to keep you right here. You're in a holding pattern where he's keeping you from temptation, where he's keeping you from falling. And if it had not been for the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's amazing.
were, the, the only reason they stopped whipping him, even the next morning, mm -hmm. the only reason they stopped whipping him is because they didn't want him to die. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Come on. <laughs> we we want to beat them into submission, not beat them to death. All right. Come on. Right. Y'all didn't hear it. See, see, some of the things that you're going through mm -hmm. are not designed to kill you. Right. They're just designed yeah. to make you quit. Yeah. They're designed to make you give up. They're designed to make you throw in the towel. And if the enemy can just put enough on you that he make you quit, that he make you give up, that he makes you abandon your testimony, mm -hmm. then I'll stop the whipping. Because that was the temptation. <laughs> just buy down the worship. Wow. I'll take the weight off of you. Mm -hmm. If you bow down the worship. Mm -hmm. They went from the whipping that they whipped them and they whipped them all night, yeah. but they didn't kill them after being whipped all night. Yeah. Then you run me back to Pilate, mm -hmm. who comes up with a fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pilate, the Roman governor, mm -hmm. who don't even like them let alone him, mm -hmm. right. says, maybe I can save you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know who I am, don't you? Mm -hmm. I have the power to save you. Wow. Or I can crucify you. Wow. If Jesus wasn't in his right mind, right. But he was still struggling with the temptation because this is still the enemy trying to come with the temptation. Mm -hmm. when, when, then Jesus would have said, well, let's discuss terms. Right. Right. What I have to do. What I have to say. I'm not open to it. I'm not focused on his will. I'm not focused on what he said. Don't, don't even come at me talking about uh, you, you got the power uh, to set me free and you got the power to crucify me. Ain't nobody uh, taking my life. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah. I made a decision back there in the garden yeah. uh -huh. to lay my yeah. life down. Hallelujah. So whether you whoop me or you crucify me or whatever you got to do, yeah. just go ahead and do what you got to do right. because I'm here voluntarily right. yeah. for the purpose of being laid down. Right. That's good. Pilate said, "Don't you understand how this works?" Mm -hmm. I, and now, 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 look at, look at, look at it, look at it, look. My God, today, look. Pilate like said, "Cause he had a good wife. Mm -hmm. Pilate had a good wife, right. and his wife said, do 'Don't you mess with that boy.'" Right. <laughs> his wife said, "No, no, no. I had a dream. Right. Right. I, I, I had a dream. You didn't mess with that boy, did you? No. Don't you mess with that boy." Mm -hmm. I, I'm telling you, stay out of it. So Pilate, Pilate said, I got an idea. Yes, Lord, I'll set him up yeah. with Barabbas mm -hmm. so I know he'll get off. Right. Yeah. So, so now the enemy is so smooth mm -hmm. that he's setting the stage for you. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to choose. You don't even have to choose to give up the mission. I'm going to get you off. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm going to send Barabbas out there and say, bye, bye. Watch, watch the devil. Watch him. By God's law. <laughs> During the Passover. Right. By God's law. Right. We let one of your prisoners go free. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the devil? Mm -hmm. Ain't that how you do? And this is what God, the Bible, says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we gonna let one of them go. So who y'all want? Right. Barabbas, the terrorist, mm -hmm. <laughs> or Jesus, who has done nothing wrong? He's a wonderful person. <laughs> <laughs>
was throwing palm leaves. Right. Yeah. Come on. That's comprised of the same people that he made see and deaf hear and lame walk. The on. crowd yes, who sir. was cheering him. Yes, sir. Just a few minutes ago. Just a few minutes. When they said, well, what shall we do with Jesus, the very nice guy? They said, crucify him. Yes, so what you saying is that these people is all bad? No. no. What I'm saying is that even these people in the moment are being used by God to push you to the place of your purpose. That if you don't need get the help that you need, you're going to abandon the mission. At that point, Jesus. Amen. That's right. Yeah. That's right. 
He could have made the decision to uncross and heal himself. If he can bring Lazarus back from the dead four days later, he can surely fix a few minutes on the cross. Amen. But he chose to die. Yep. He overcame the temptation. Now, now, now I'm, I got closed, but here's the thing that after overcoming temptation, it, it says, now God has given him a name that's above every name. See, when, 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 when God gave him the victory was after he overcame temptation. When he over, God didn't give him victory so that he could get past temptation. Right. But after he overcame the temptation, mm -hmm. God gave him victory. Mm -hmm. God gave him glory. Mm -hmm. yeah. That at the name Jesus, yeah. every knee should yeah. bow. Yeah. Things in the earth, yeah. things above the earth, yeah. under the earth, mm -hmm. the joker in the wilderness, mm -hmm. the joker in the garden, yeah. the joker with the whip, the joker with the hammer. The lion thief, mm -hmm. Barabbas, mm -hmm. every knee going to bow. Yes. That's the way that he pulled him into victory. Amen. Yes. But he never could have had the victory without overcoming the temptation. Yes. Amen. 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 Guess what? Amen. Neither will you. Neither will you. You'll never, you'll never experience the victory that's designed for your life. Mm -hmm. And see, some of us have been living in a beautiful place called Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It feels good because God is there. And I haven't sinned. And I'm all right. And I'm doing my best. But really, I'm in a place of struggle and not in a place of victory. The victorious place is when you accept the things that God is going to bring to us. And we deal Amen. with them. And we deal with them head on. Amen. And we trust him to take us through. Yes. And we trust him to keep us. Yes, sir. Every one of us has fallen mm -hmm. to temptation somewhere along the way. Amen. Every one of us. If I'm wrong, just call me a liar. If I'm wrong online, just call me a liar. Every one of us have fallen to temptation somewhere along the way. Thank God for his amazing grace. Hallelujah. That knew that I would fall. That knew that I would mess up. And he died for that. He died for that. See, he could have been lowered back in the, in the, bar, in the uh, wilderness. But he died for my mess up. Mm -hmm. He died to make a way for me to get out of it. Yes, he died to make a way for me to get over it. Yes, for me to not be condemned in my past failure. Yes, because if not, then the enemy could always go mm -hmm. and point to my last failure and say, you would be something mm -hmm. if it wasn't for what you did back in 92. That one time in 92, that was it. You had it going on until 92. And, and after that, so you, you messed up. Yes, sir. Amen. But this is what, what Paul said in reference to that. There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Yes. Oh, because yes. I'm in him. Now Paul said, you got to understand. That's the 8, 8 and 1. But you got to run back to 7 to understand how Paul was feeling. Mm -hmm. How he was feeling in 7, he said, I got a problem. And the problem is that every time I go to do good, right. evil uh, is present right. in me. Uh -huh. Amen. So the thing that I would do, I do not. Yeah. And the thing that I'm trying not to do, that's the thing I do. And he asked the question, who will deliver me yeah. Thank you, Lord. from temptation? Yes, Lord. Who will deliver me from temptation? And he said, I thank God it's by Jesus Christ. Yes, he Lord. said, I, I, it ain't because Paul don't get it together. It ain't because Saul was no more better. He said, it's because of Jesus Christ. Yes, and I'm living in the, the dying and the burial and the resurrection.
resurrection of Jesus Christ, amen, that he gives me grace in this area so that even though I begged him three times to take this thing out of me, he said, my grace is sufficient. Uh, yeah, that's what he said. Amen. So now because of the sufficiency of his grace, there is no more condemnation. Got capacity, but no condemnation. So you freed me from that. So now I can walk in the victory because you overcame sin, because you overcame temptation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if it had not been for the Lord, mm -hmm. whew, I guarantee you can make it. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can make it because he made it. Yeah. The song say, because he lives, uh -huh. I can face tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you can make it because he made it. Yes, sir. He made it so you can make it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what what you did? So what what you been through? So what how you struggled? Jesus struggled. Mm -hmm. They had a whole place for him to struggle. Mm -hmm. They had a whole garden for him to struggle. Mm -hmm. He spent half the night there struggling. Mm -hmm. And it didn't, God didn't say, you Lord, but. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you Lord, but remember that struggle. Mm -hmm. He said that you are Lord. All power. Mm -hmm. All power. Is given unto you. Amen. You Lord, all authority, majesty, and glory. Mm -hmm. Ain't no other name mm -hmm. uh, by which man could be saved. Yeah. That's right. Hmm. God took him out of his struggle, brought him through temptation. Mm -hmm. And now, he reigns forever. Amen. Amen. I'm counting on Amen. the same God bringing you through your struggle, Amen. through temptation, yes. and giving you victory Amen. in every area of your life. Amen. Thank you, God. If you find yourself struggling with something, get in Gethsemane. <laughs> Pray until you sweat. Sweat until you bleed or until you overcome it. Amen. And God will give us victory in that area and every area of life. There's no good thing he'll withhold from us. Amen. There's no thing he doesn't want us to have. Mm -hmm. There's no place that he doesn't see us already victorious. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if he don't see us victorious now, he sees us in grace. Mm -hmm. Don't be discouraged about what you didn't do. Be encouraged by the fact that you got another chance. Amen. Amen. Be encouraged by the fact that God kept you yes. in spite of it. Amen. He doesn't reject us, but he's embracing us. Amen. And he's keeping us in that place, in our own gifts. And he'll keep you. He's been keeping you. Amen. It's not by chance or coincidence that you're even here or that you're watching today. Amen. But it's actually been exactly what you needed to know. That there's a way out for you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. That you can make it in spite of all the yes. things. That you don't have to go clean it up. You don't have to go fix it up. Amen. You just had to make it through it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Jesus didn't have victory in the wilderness. He just made it through the wilderness. Yes. Amen. Jesus didn't have victory in Gethsemane. He just got obedient in Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't have victory when they whipped him. He didn't even have victory until he died. Then he said it is finished. You can make it. If Jesus made it and he has the same capacity that you have, you can make it. Amen. Doesn't matter how hard it is, it doesn't matter how hard it's been, you can make it. Amen. Call on the Lord while he may be found. Amen. Hold on. Hold on. And stay with God. Yes, sir. Amen. And if you give out, don't give up. God bless you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.